Good morning. My name is Michelle and this is Abby. Welcome back to our channel. Here we are on our morning walk. As you can see, she's been walking really well. We have worked on our walking a lot in the last few weeks during our travels. A lot of it is exposure, just, you know, making sure we're doing it often, which we already walk about. Oops. All right, so she saw a lizard and she just pulled me. Now I'm gonna do a U-turn. Just walk in the opposite direction. Good girl. Good girl. Yeah. The baby. And that basically corrected that behavior. And that's basically how we make sure she stays walking well is anytime she pulls me i just make a basically unforeseen u-turn quick i stopped for the sake of explanation at that point but quick u-turn so we are walking really fast and that kind of helps her not to pull me because dogs generally walk faster than humans and it takes some time for them to learn how to slow down with us So I don't have her on a strict heel. She's kind of just allowed to walk loosely by my side, sniff it along as we go. But let's see what happens if I slow down. So she kind of slows down with me. She's not quite pulling me. But she didn't slow down well enough. Here I made a U-turn. I'm walking pretty slowly now. Good. There we go. A couple U-turns later, she's walking slowly at my pace. Good girl. Who's a good girl? Yeah. Good baby. Mm-hmm. Good girl. Yeah, so that's how we kind of fine-tune loose leash walking. You know, in the beginning, you saw how a couple episodes before, you saw how I taught loose leash walking. And now we're kind of doing it every day. We're just fine tuning it. Anytime she, you know, lunges after a bird or a lizard, I just make a U-turn. Same thing as she pulls at me for, you know, a dog or a person ahead of us. We just walk in the opposite direction. That way, you know, I'm not giving her any like corrections or forceful corrections. We are just doing everything that we do with intention and when we are walking well, we keep going in that direction at a good speed. When we don't, we just go in the opposite direction of what she wants. So that way, you know, we have a well-mannered pup on leash. So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick episode. We're gonna finish up our walk, take you guys along the way in our wonderful new Florida neighborhood. And we'll let her sniff here a little bit. So I don't, you know, mandate that she walks alongside me at all times, as long as she doesn't pull me to get to where she wants to go. If she starts sniffing and I'm kind of like leisurely walking, it's totally fine if she veers off a little bit. It's when she starts to drag me or pull me, that's when I make a U-turn. So we're walking again, everything's great.
and I'll see you next time. Thank you.